All hands to the pump in the custody suite. Bum Blake, he's going to stick his finger up my arse. Oh, he ain't sticking my finger nowhere near you, Bum Blake. And horror on the tracks. I've been to um, a fatality like this in daylight, and there is no head to find. Charing Cross Station, PC's Wendy Cold and Sean Potter are on duty. Wendy's been with the G-Transport Police for three years. She used to work in insurance, but wanted more of a challenge. You never get grief off what I call your normal, like, um, shop workers or builders or anyone like that. You know what I call manual jobs? It's normally the white-collar sector that think they're slightly above the rest. And it's 90% of the time it's them. And they just have this air about them, but then, then that, that air automatically gets deflated the minute they end up talking to us. And you can see people double shuffling, and sometimes it's so blatant, it's unbelievable. Someone had put their ticket into the machine, and the, the, um, the doors, the flaps open, as you can see there. Now, what someone does is they'll go right close behind. So Sean's put his ticket in. Someone will literally go close behind as he goes through they double shuffle and go through. In Liverpool, the central train station at Lime Street is patrolled by PC Chris Joyce. Chris wanted to be a primary school teacher, but he's been with the BTP for 25 years. Today, he's found a young man wandering lost around the concourse. The man appears to speak no English. First thing we need to do when we get into the office is to find out who he is and uh, get an interpreter. I need to know what language he speaks so we can get the right interpreter for him. But when we find out what language he speaks, that might really give a clue as to where he's actually from. Easier said than done. OK. Name. Huh? Name. G. Come right here. Um. Chris, you? From his appearance, Chris suspects okay. the young man is from the Middle East. Um, I've got to th what I'm going to try now is think of a few um, names from uh, that region just to give the guy clues to what I'm after, OK? Uh, Mohammed? No. No, OK. Um, off the top of me, I all the names escape me. And after the recent Gulf War, you'd think I'd know a few, wouldn't you? So down. No? Name? Ahmed. Ahmed. OK. OK, I think we're getting somewhere here. Can you write your name? Let's have a, let's have a try. Ahmed Ali. Ahmed Ali. At London's Charing Cross station, ticket inspectors have just caught a double shuffler. Don't swear! Don't swear! Don't swear! Show your ticket, Don't swear! Show your ticket, Don't swear! Show your ticket, 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 Kia Rothwell. Kia, what's your name, darling? Kia Rothwell. All right, hold that for me, Sean. Ooh, well. Right, go eat. All right. All right, end of the day, respect. <laughs> the man's doing his job, I'm doing my job, all right, OK? <laughs> right, this man's just going to talk to me, and then I'm going to talk to you, uh, yeah. OK? So don't butt in, right, let him finish. Go on, mate. <laughs> so we're walking down suspiciously, so I followed him up to the barriers. Yeah. Somebody went through the barriers, he's chased through, so I'm smiling him. Uh, grabbed hold of him back in the so... Yeah, fair enough. Through. Yeah, OK. Where were, you, where were you born? Where was I born? Yeah. Greenwich, I think. Or born Greenwich. Greenwich, yeah. Have you got anything with your name on at all? Yeah, that. Lovely. Can I have a look? Cheers. What do you do for a living? <coughs> Stone cleaner. Oh, yeah? You're doing some poles? Uh, no, no. Because there's a big thing. Have you seen that? It's all caged in at the moment, isn't it? They're doing some poles, yeah. What did you go train this morning? New Elton. You got on at New Elton. You got money to pay for a ticket from New Elton to here? Yeah. Show us, darling, so I can have a look. Is it, yeah. 
Could you find out for me, sir, how much it is for a ticket from the Elton to here, please? Thank you very much. I'm going to give me colleague because I need to do a check and he does a shit round here. BX Hotel 35. Right, you come back not known to police, which is fair enough, OK? Yeah. Right. How come he didn't get a ticket this morning? Uh, come on. So he had a little bit of money. That's all the money I've got on me. Yeah, but it's enough to pay for your ticket, isn't it? Yeah, but they ain't got nothing to eat. Oh, but at the end of the day, the railways ain't free, are they? No, nah, no, I normally pay every day, but I normally meet some of that money. Well, button. yeah, obviously you do, because you've got tickets, and I'm not decrying that, yeah. yeah? You're obviously a little bit hard up for whatever reason, but... Yeah, I don't get paid. At the end of the day, if you don't, yeah, but if you don't get your ticket, yeah, then you're going to end up being stopped by this gentleman, being stopped by us, yeah, and then it could be that we could report you for fair evasion, you'll go to court, you could end up paying a fine, anything up to £1,000, and then you really wouldn't have any money. You ain't a bad lad, it's just... One of them things, he's jumped on a train this morning, he's self-employed worker. He said his money's a bit tight. Don't make it right for travelling without a ticket. He's got enough money to pay for the journey he's made today. And he keeps his old tickets because he's self-employed, so he has to put them in for tax returns. Wendy uses her discretion. The man is released after handing over £2.80, the cost of a single ticket from New Eltham to Charing Cross. Right, I'm going to pass you over to him now. Thank you. In Liverpool, Chris has managed to find someone who speaks the young man's language. Hello? He wants to claim asylum. OK. And he arrived today. Did he say how he arrived? Lorry. And he's from Iraq. Fine. <clears throat> what she's saying is that he left Iraq through Turkey by lorry. He's arrived in Liverpool today about midday, dropped off at a petrol station, and he's been wandering around ever since. Just made a call to the immigration services, and initially the advice that we're being given is to direct him to their office on Water Street in Liverpool, which will open at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. He can be first in the queue. We're being asked to simply show him out onto the street for the night, and really it'll be up to him. It would then be up to him what he did next. He could just completely disappear into the city, into Britain. So we're not quite happy with that as a course of action. It's a lack of take order arrest as an illegal immigrant. The youth threaten one the address of a local immigration center. Wendy Code and Sean Potter are now on duty at London's Waterloo station. Get off your skateboards! Off! Hey. Hey, off! Skateboards. Off! 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 Walking. Thank you! Thank you! The British Transport Police dog team are also out in force. They're watching out for rowdy football supporters turning home. We've had thoughts that they're going to get a lot of um, Pompey supporters come through. Now, they have been known to cause a bit of problems. So we've got a lot of the uh, tasking units to come down to give us extra support. We're a bit low on officers at the moment on call. We've also got dogs, out, dogs down there. It is a very good deterrent, because if people decide they're going to start kicking off, you get a dog barking, most people are going to wind their neck in. I know for a fact I, I wouldn't argue one of these. I certainly wouldn't argue one of these dogs. But this dog owner does not share Wendy's sentiments. His pet is upsetting police, I'll say. Right, are you on the course? Can you just keep the dog on the lead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's all right, I'd appreciate yeah, that. the best thing about the officer. He lost the lead today. Yeah, just, just keep your dog on the lead. Just hold of it for me. That'll be appreciated. Yeah. That, those dogs will bark at anybody or no, anything. They'll bark at us. Just keep just the dogs because... apart, because otherwise you will have... Uh, I know the way they operate. In Liverpool, Chris Joyce is now patrolling the underground network. Today, he's looking for fare dodges. Ticket evasion is a huge problem. See your ticket slats, please. Right on, where's yours? 
Chris finds three lads with only two tickets between them. All right, where's yours? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, come on, Pass get off. Man, Oi, off. Oi, off. Pass yeah, never mind that. Come on. What? I'm not having two tickets between three. Two off the train. I haven't seen your ticket yet. Get off the train. Yeah, I'm looking for it now. I said, I haven't seen your ticket, get off the train, thank you. I've got a ticket to shovel to play uh, it, it's oh. Do you want him off as well? Him yeah, off. he's getting off. Come on, somebody. Come on, let's get. Off, sir. Off, now, off. let's start all over again. <coughs> you got your yeah. ticket, got he's got his. Where's yours? Oh, oh, you haven't got it. As the train leaves, a sympathetic passenger throws the boys a lifeline. But Chris grabs it first. Houses are never more friendly than when you're on the run from the authorities. Somebody's just thrown him a ticket from the train. <laughs> They've got no ticket now and he's not having this one. No ticket, no money, just joyriding. He's gonna have to go. Back at London's Waterloo station, Wendy has had enough. The dog owner is still stressing the police Alsatians. Sweetheart, come away from the dog, Jeff. Yeah, come on, darling. Come on, mate. Hey, can you wait for it? He'll bite him again. Yeah, come on, love. Yeah, please, mate. Yeah, but in the day. Yeah, mate. Move away, please. Sir. Yeah, no, I'm allowed to do it, and I will do it. I don't want to get him there, so I'll get away from the dog. I, if you go near the dog's end, sir, I will eject you from the station. And the power, and it's 178, by all means, mate. Wendy is quickly distracted by something she finds much more interesting. She's a keen collector of fur, <laughs> with over 70 pairs of stilettos to her name. Oh, Where does she get her shoes? They look like new look. They new look. I've got the black and white ones. The black and white ones. I've got those ones. Sean, you wouldn't look good in that skirt. She must have jigs on I like the shoes, but you wouldn't look good in that skirt. Stop check, please. Central Railway Station. 1792. In Liverpool, Chris finds out the fair evader is under 16. Roger, that will do. Right, listen, you've, what you've done here tonight, you've committed an offence of fair evasion. You're travelling with no ticket and no money. Because you're a juvenile, as you're probably already aware, I can't deal with this offence without, without your mother or father or a legal guardian present. You go home now and tell your mum what's happened, right? Because I will be telephoning her to let her know. And it's better that she hears it from you than from me. Right? OK? So I'll see you again, and I'll make an appointment with your mum to see you at your home address. There are strict guidelines for dealing with offences committed by minors. It may seem small, but Chris knows fair evasion costs the system millions. Now, he's a juvenile offender, and... Uh, much as I'd like to just eject him from the station and uh, let him walk home and find his, way, his own way home, this lad's from the Wirral. He's under 16. I can't leave him stranded in Liverpool because I can be criticised for that. That's why I've allowed them to continue with the journey. At Waterloo, the fans have gone through. But it is the dog owner who is now distressed. Don't be an his girlfriend has been hitting him. Come on, out. Wendy's had enough. What were you just clamping him for? Yeah, you come with you. him. Right, you're both leaving the station. station. You are leaving the station uh, now. I'm, allowed, I'm ejecting you from the station and you're being ejected. Oh, Thank I'm you. Sorry about that, mate. Yeah, just go. I don't care. Just go. I've had enough. I will do what I will do. And I will not take any more. Yeah, just leave. Behave. Don't be such a baby. Be a grown woman. Come on. Find your dog, darling. I don't want to hurt your dog. Right, do me a favour, mate. You two have obviously had a bit to drink. Take the lady and please go that way now. Uh, uh, please take I, the lady and go. About that. Please take the lady and go that way. Thank you, madam. Good night. Don't enter the station. Good night, again. madam. If that's the lady, I'll kiss my backside. <laughs> <laughs>